I got a little hankering for crispy bite-sized pieces of fried chicken, or colloquially, popcorn chicken. So I asked myself, how would I make them as fast as possible with basic ingredients I always have and a simple cleanup? Well, this batch of popcorn chicken took just 28 minutes and I made them spicy too. Hey everyone, I'm Ethan, a home cooking nerd who likes to find better ways to cook and share them with all of you. So this popcorn chicken is slightly inspired by Nashville hot chicken. So if you see me sweating in a couple minutes during the taste test, you know I did it right. Let's dive in. To start, chop the boneless, skinless chicken thighs into bite-sized pieces. Now, you could also use breasts here if you would like, but I do generally prefer the thighs for their taste and texture. Also, as an aside, whenever I am done cutting raw meat, I like to immediately wash my cutting board and knife with hot soapy water to prevent any potential cross-contamination. Plus, it's just easier to clean when there aren't any dried chicken juices on there. Get out a large mixing bowl and add the chopped chicken along with five grams of salt, 113 grams of milk, the juice from one half of a lemon, and 10 grams of your favorite Louisiana style hot sauce. Roughly mix the chicken and milk mixture together, and this is what's gonna help flavor the chicken, but also provide the flour dredge something to stick to. Meanwhile, at the stove, set a flat bottom wok over medium heat, and add enough peanut oil to fry the chicken pieces, probably about two inches high. And this is where saving our peanut oil from, you know, last time we fried is a huge benefit because I didn't have to use any or buy any more peanut oil because I saved it from last time, which you should do this time. While that comes to temperature, place a large baking sheet over top of a scale and add 50 grams of flour, 25 grams of cornstarch, 20 cranks of black pepper, some cayenne powder, some smoked paprika, and garlic powder together and just lightly mix everything together. The cornstarch is gonna help prevent gluten development, resulting in a crisper crust for our chicken pieces. Then take the milk mixture and pour a little bit into the dredge and mix it in. This is gonna create clumps that will stick to the chicken, resulting in more texture and surface area to get fried and crisp. Move the chicken pieces to the flour mixture and roll them around until the exterior is well coated. And really press the flour into the chicken hunks so that layer sticks on there and gets it nice and crisp when we fry them. Now at the stove, use a thermometer and verify the temperature of the oil is around 325 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Gently shake off any excess flour from the chicken hunks and slowly drop them into the oil. Now, I got a little bold and kind of crowded the pan here to fit everything in here, so you should probably do this in two patches, unlike I did, because this will lower the temperature of the oil and does increase the fry time. But in total, you wanna fry the chicken for about five to seven minutes until it is nice and golden brown. Now slightly agitate them during frying, maybe every minute or so, but meanwhile you can put stuff in the dishwasher, wash the dredge tray, wipe down any cooking surfaces, and place a paper towel inside of a large metal bowl. Back at the wok, this is kind of what I want the chicken to look like, nice and deep golden brown. It's clearly got some nice crispy edges in texture, so once it looks like this, move the pieces to that metal bowl to dab off the excess oil. We have crunchy, juicy bits of chicken that are killer as is if you do just want to eat them this way, but today I wanted to work up a little bit of sweat. So for piece de resistance, in a heat safe bowl, add a little bit of the leftover fry oil, about half a tablespoon of butter, a small pinch of salt, a bunch more hot sauce, and some cayenne pepper. Then just stir the sauce together, and the butterness is going to give it a touch of creaminess to help round out the heat. Drizzle this hot oil over the chicken and then just toss everything into a bowl. Slide them out onto a plate, maybe add a pickled onion or two, and there we have spicy, crunchy, and juicy popcorn chicken in less than 30 minutes. Let's taste it. The perfect accoutrement to some spicy popcorn chicken. Let's give these a taste test. Nice and crispy.
horseradish, mayo, mustard, simple. All I gotta say is don't leave yourself alone with a full plate of these or else you're probably gonna eat all of them. It's nice and crispy and craggly from that dredge with the cornstarch and also making sure we added the milk in to get those, you know, those nice like flaky pieces that come off of here is pretty critical to getting it nice and crispy. I mean, you guys can, you guys can hear it. They're, they're crunchy and these have been sitting here. And then adding in our spices from the, you know, the milk mixture with the lemon juice and the hot sauce, then into the dredge itself. And then at the end, using that hot oil to help coat the outside and get it nice and spicy. And speaking of the spicy, I've got like a, you know, a tiny little sweat going on, but it's nothing over the top at all. I mean, you could throw this in a sandwich. You could throw this in like a snack wrap or something, make a burrito out of it. Just eat it as is, like I'm doing with a little bit of dip, dipping sauce with some mustard, mayo, and horseradish you're gonna be in for something quite, quite delicious. So hopefully you guys try out this recipe. It will be up on the website if you do wanna try it out. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.